Today's tech tip is a diagnostic aid when dealing with a push button start vehicle that there is no key on engine off accessibility. So you'll notice I have this vehicle and it is push button start equipped. Uh, when I push the start button and attempt to start the vehicle, we have no key fob detected. And of course, this could be due to a failed key fob. This could be due to some sort of an issue with the vehicle. So you may be wondering, well, how can I get data? How can I get codes when I can't get uh, the vehicle to access key on engine off? Well, you'll note that we have our scan tool connected and we're going to go into the uh, manual access. We're going to select the vehicle. In this case, it's a Chrysler and we are going to select, again, the vehicle. This is a Chrysler 200. It's a 2015 model. And once we select the vehicle, notice what happens when we enter diagnosis. So now we're going to select auto scan and our scan tool will look for any modules that are online and ready to communicate with our scan tool. And you'll notice the list is beginning to populate. We have the ABS module, we have the instrument cluster, we have the body control module, and other modules are continuing to populate. In fact, what we're going to find is that there are going to be 12 modules that will actually be online, awake, and ready to communicate with our scan tool. So what I would like to do is select one of these modules, let's say the body control module, for example. We select the body control module and now when we go into the body control module we're going to be able to access codes we'll be able to access data so let's select data live data and see what we can learn when we do this we can select relevant PIDs one such relevant PID as far as starting the vehicle is the brake switch so let's select that now you'll notice what happens when I press the brake pedal, notice it changes state. So the body control module is actually seeing us press the brake pedal and we know that's a key input as far as starting the vehicle. So if we wanted to, we could also read codes. There were several modules that had codes in them according to our list here. We see a fault code in a number of modules. We actually see 10 fault codes in the instrument cluster. So maybe some of these fault codes may actually be relevant to our concern. As it relates to starting the vehicle, uh, we also see the electronic shifter module is present. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. And we go into live data. At the very top of the screen, we can see the par park position is set and we're not in any other gear. So we can actually access key data that can be very helpful in diagnosing a problem when we have a vehicle with push button start and you cannot get into key on engine off. So hopefully this tip helps you the next time you have a problem with a push button start system and you can't access key on engine off.